Um, when we say advanced auditing, um, you know, what Sherry and all of you have done is, um, uh, do, has done, um, sorry, um, what we call ad hoc audits, where you define an audit form and you say, all right, I'm going to audit this stock room. And you choose your stock room and you run your search and it tells you what's there. Enhanced auditing enables you to define audits and track the performance of those audits over time, as well as to have multiple users perform those audits. So as like uh, this stock room uh, audit, Southern California warehouse, I can launch that audit. I can also have um, another user uh, join that audit. So as you know, one user is scanning, I'm, I'm using a, a attached scanner on here as my, as my phone user here is using the scanner or using an RFID reader. Um, the, those updates are going to get pushed over to this user here. So you could send 5, 10, 20 people uh, to do an audit um, collectively as a gang. Oops. Um, so let me uh, just, whoops. So just real time updating of, uh, again, multiple people can perform the audit. We call that multi user audit, and it really helps uh, save time. Coming with that is stop and start. So you can have this audit running and Jane could go in and scan a bunch of stuff and uh, she could leave. And then Joe could come in the next day. Um, you don't have to save anything. It's all being saved in the background here. And, and uh, you can come in the next day, rejoin that audit, pick up where you left off and um, you know just continue on. And uh, so something that we're, we're pretty excited about that uh, multi-user capability. The second thing there is that these audits are tracked, the instances of those audits are tracked over time in a way that you can roll up accuracy across multiple audits over time period. So what I have here is we, we've created um, one stockroom definition. Uh, we, we've created a stockroom computer audit definition. And within that, we generated one sub definition for each one of our stock rooms. For each one of those stock room definitions, we can then see all the instances that have occurred of that. And all those results are saved over time. Let me look at instances here and find one that's... Um, uh, so these are all the audit instances that have occurred. Um, this is the percentage, the accuracy that was calculated for each one of those. Within any given audit, we store uh, within, sorry, within any audit definition, we store all of the assets that were audited, which auditors performed in it. In this case, there was one, but if there was multiple, you'd see all the users that collected the data. And then once the audit is completed, we then calculate the percentage accuracy. Now what I can get is a dashboard that shows me the accuracy of my data on average over time. And I've grouped those audits by different categories. So I can see that um, you know, we run data center audits every quarter and our average accuracy is 94%. Should be better than 94, but you know, it's 94. Our stock rooms is down to 93. Um, you can categorize and group um, audit definitions by whatever criteria you want. But what you can do as an asset manager is watch this. And then as your stock room audits are processed, uh, if you see this average accuracy starting to go down, now you can drill in and see a list of all the audits that have occurred. Here's that audit that's in flight right now that's still open. I can drill in there and get a list of you know, what's, what's happening. I can see who's performing it. Um, so that, that's our advanced auditing um, and the dashboard capabilities that it brings. Um, take your ad hoc auditing and really steps it up to a new, to a new level.